All right. So to kind of take a step back and give an explanation, the use case of what I ran into is when I started using Roost and I really had no idea what I was doing. Uh, the big thing I ran into is, well, every client is a little bit unique. They're all mostly similar, but everyone seems to have something a little bit different. And I felt like I just had to create a new form for each <clears> one. Um, so what I kind of decided to start doing was using my own organization variables to kind of be able to show or hide or make certain things required within a new user onboarding form. So what I have here is basically just the default user onboarding form with some additions to it. Uh, three big things I think that I made custom organization variables for is we use Duo in a number of places. So for this one, it shows or hides this checkbox based on whether they have their uh, Duo organization variable defined. So if I pull this up, it basically just checks, is the account ID defined? And is its length greater than zero? And uh, for those that don't know, the integration IDs are just organization variables. So like if I go over to my integration here, this dual account ID, you can just reference this org dot variable. And then this is a name, but then I'll use a unit ID when you actually reference it. That's one big thing. So that's just a really good dynamic way to check if a customer has duo enabled in Roost. Uh, another big one I think I run into is with groups. Some customers want to show all AD groups. Some only want to show a specific subset of it. So if I scroll down, so I basically show or hide these. Again, based on org variables, I just name it like form generic because this is what I refer to as my generic form. And if that org variable is set to true, it'll show it. And just because of the way I have this built, if they're going to choose org, um, a group of Active Directory groups, they're pretty much always going to want a specific group just based on what I've seen in our documentation. So I always just see this as true, I'm looking for security groups. And then same thing with distribution groups. I have its own little org variable just to say, all right, if they want to use generic distribution, we hit true, it shows the field. And then I just make sure I have, yeah, I use the default org variable that Roost has like this one here, form default distribution AAD groups, to just pull this JSON list and populate that. And one other way I've used it with mail-enabled groups. So just the way our customers are is they always want mail-enabled groups, but some of them want only a specific list. So in this case, for the force default, I have it using an org variable. And basically, that's going to output true or false. And then the sub workflow looks to see if it's true, then it's going to pull a default group. If it's false, it pulls all of the customer's uh, mail enabled groups. So that's just kind of something I've been working on to try and get as many customers using the same template form. So if you go to my URLs over here, I think I have like eyeballing at 20 to 30 customers using this one form. And then I can kind of have that like granular customization of what fields they see or whether they see a default or everything.